Okay, so this is the start of uh, Let's Live Stream Pokemon Fire Red session number five. And the reason why we're back in Vermillion Wayne City is I've been from the Pokemon Center, and I forgot to get the versus seeker from this trainer right here, this cool trainer. The urge to battle with someone you've t tangled with it before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I want to. I wanted to battle certain people over, again, over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. Versus seeker. Now, this item will let you um of uh battle um trainers in in the as long as they're on screen like when you use it but you can see their sprite i guess you could say and you can be battle them and stuff and get more money and from them i guess and get more experience from that and battle them over again but then again i think it takes 100 100 steps to like recharge battery so after so like if you use it right right here i'll try to make sure yeah you'll you'll try to get a next another battle with the bug catcher dude and the two picnickers the picnicker and the camper because they're on screen but then once you use it even if they all don't want to battle they sit they'll say like the very sick no one wants to battle who's in range or whatever if your seeker was turned off yeah that and that means they just don't want to have a battle right now and you have to recharge the battery like because there's um you know I think there's, you have to have 100 steps to recharge the battery after every use of the VS Seeker. I'm pretty sure it's around 100. So, just in case you all didn't know. So let's go make our way back to um, the route, I think it was Route 3, or not Route 3, Route 9. Route 9, I'm guessing. Uh, that we were at in the la end of the last part. Let's see here. Route 9, I was right, cool. I'm gonna cut down this tree, parasite is cut. Yeah, this will be fun. And, yeah, um, I guess we can take on this trainer right here. Why not? Why not, man? Why don't we just take on this trainer? Picnicker Alicia. Alyssa, Alicia, I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna go for the Peck Attack, because Peck is super effective on this Oddish. And by the way, happy 20 years of the original Pokemon games, everyone. So it's Pokemon games, the, since the original game, basically, or the original games were blue and yellow and green in Japan. The, the, it's been 20 years today. Today was the 20 year anniversary of those games being released, because they all came out. Well, I'm pretty sure red, blue, and yellow they all came out on February uh, 27th of 2000, or not 2000, but 1996. So those games are 20 years old. I'm pretty sure Green Wave turn came out a little bit earlier because it's a Japan only game and you know how Japan gets games before people in the United States get games. So maybe Green is a little bit uh, older than 20 years just by a smidge. Still 20 years old but like a little bit older than Red Bull and Yellow of course. But yeah that's pretty cool. And Fumi got poisoned. Oh no. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Um, I'm, I feel a lot better from the last live stream session, so that's awesome. I won't be coughing as much. I hope I hope to not cough as much or cough at all if I can. That'd be really nice. That'd be real cool. So yeah, we're gonna get her, female's gonna get her by the poison. Yeah. So let's choose uh, pursuit. I guess why not pursuit? See, so, yeah, 20 years of the original Pokemon games. Wow. I'm almost as old as Pokemon. I'm 19 years old. And Pokemon, the rich, up into this original game release for the Red, Blue, and Yellow, as I said before, it's 20 years today, to, uh, February 27th of 2016. That's pretty crazy. I mean, the first Pokemon game I've ever played was would probably be Pokemon Blue. Because I had it for... My family had Pokemon Blue at the time, and we had a Game Boy, and we played it. It was a bunch of fun. It was a bunch of fun. I still, I prefer blue over red, honestly. So like, I I don't have my 3DS with me right now. I'm at, um, cause I'm at my dad's house for the live stream session. But um, I want to buy um, you know, red. Uh, I want to buy Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow off the Nintendo 3DS eShop. And I want to get an Alkazam, but now my friends will trade and now. Something for now because I'm sort of evolving to or my cadaver, so my future cadaver, so it can evolve into future Alkazam. But because they say like Alkazam is just overpowered in that game, it's the second best second type of my next to me too, or something like that. Stat wise, it's crazy. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably trade with my cousin though, so, and that'll work just as great. I want Alkazam on my team for Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow. I'm, I think I might use a um. 
Alakazam and Pokemon Blue, I might not use, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use an Alakazam and Pokemon Yellow, you know, because I don't want to use the same Pokemon on both the copies of the game. But I heard that Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Red and Blue are all $9.99 off the eShop, and that was like a $10 game. I was kind of thinking that, you know, uh, I thought it was going to be like, um, Pokemon Yellow is going to be $9.99 on the eShop, and then Pokemon Red and Blue were going to be um, $4.99 on the eShop, but... It's okay, I mean, yeah, 30, $30 to get all three games, basically, because, you know, the Nintendo eShop doesn't really count tax or anything. I'm going to keep, um, free me from evolving, because cause I want to, I think, um, leveling up to level 22, um, free, uh, Sparrow will learn, um, Air Race leveling up, because if it levels in the Fear now, it won't be able to learn that move leveling up, and I think, actually, you get the TM for Air Race on this route, Route 9. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out, but I'm gonna heal the Prowl. I mean poison, I'm gonna Prowl. There we go. Um, I'll I'll use a potion on um, for me as well. That should do it. There we go. And I'm gonna switch to like um, I'm gonna switch to Paris. I think because Paris is a little level than uh, Blaster is. Because there's a hiker dude coming up. So, yeah. Let's take on this hiker dude. What does he have to say? Wahaha, ha great. I'm bo I was bored, eh? Okay, that's cool. I'm sure you were bored. Hiker Jeremy, okay. Send him a chop, okay. Um Hmm. You go for the poison powder? Yes, it hits, awesome. The Machop is poisoned now, so that's great. Can you see on us, okay. Um, this setting, should I use Bullet Seed or Cut? I think I'm gonna go for Cut, because Cut might be more powerful. Even though Bullet Seed gets the same type of attack bonus. Just try Cut, see how much it does. It does a decent amount, I guess. Maybe a fourth of its HP. It's max HP, but... We'll see what happens. Plus the Poison is in there too, so let's use another Cut. One more Cut should do it. This Karate Trap's gonna hurt. We did about a third of uh, Paris's uh, max HP. And let's go for the cut one more time and should faint the Machop. There we go. Yeah, we get Paris gets a decent amount of experience too. And here's a Onyx. I'm gonna use Bolt Seed on this Onyx. Use Rock though. Okay, then that's gonna be super effective because it's bug type. Because Paris is about half bug type. That's so unfortunate. Um, let's go to Blaster then. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Paris fainted. Let's take. Let's see if this uh, Onyx can take a, uh, a water pulse to the face. There we go. We defeat Hiker Jeremy. I, didn't, I don't care about your dialogue. You fainted one of my Pokemon. Except for seven hundred twenty dollars, though. Pocket dollars. TM forty Airways. Right there is the TM. But again, I don't want to teach it to. You know, fear me because it'll learn by probably by next level or level 22. I'll open up. It's nice. Let's go to the TMK. And who else can learn it by any chance? If anyone can learn it. Chelsea can learn it. Wait, is that Carter? Yeah, it's not the right move. Never mind. Aerialis. Okay, so Aerialis. You can learn it. Paris. Paris can learn Aerialis. That's kind of cool. Um. No, I don't think my fire type. And my sixth and my sixth and final member is a fire type, which is gonna be a Growlithe. Actually, I don't think Growlithe can win Aerialis. But then again, because because Aerialis would be good against Fighting type Pokemon, and Grass type Pokemon, and Bug type Pokemon. And uh, the, when it's an Arcanine, the, my future Growlithe. When it's a future Arcanine, it'll all be cover its types for Grass and Bug. And not so um, Fighting though, but yeah. I have Fumi for that because Fumi is a flying type. I might want to teach it to Paris, but I don't know if it, I have I had a final move set ready for Paris already, so I'll probably have to just I'm gonna save the TM right now because I don't know exactly who I'm gonna teach it to. If I'm gonna teach it to anyone who actually would fit very well or anything like that, what the, I'm gonna wait on it. Um, yeah, let's. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go around the ledge and not hop over it again. Let's take on this. Camper dude. Who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? 
Uh, me, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah. Camp of the Chris. And Tyler Crowleth. Okay. Intimidate cuts the enemy's attack. I think by, by 25%. If I already guess. Um, free attack? Let's see how much this does. Yeah, it's hit five times. Nope, of course not. Oh man, this this yeah stink. Too much peck does. Okay, I wanted to switch out anyway, so thanks for saving me the trouble. You just dragged out my ace. I'm just kidding. Well, Blaster is kind of my ace, so so I grow it. And there goes the grow. Nice, we got that done. And yeah, Chimando. Okay. She's another Y pulse. And this Charmander should go down. There they go. And then we defeated. I didn't even read your name. Out of it, like light. I didn't even read your name, Camper. I'm sorry. He has a bug catcher. I think he has two B drills. He doesn't even have a buddy. If he has two B drills, I didn't read your dog. Sorry. He has bug catcher. What's your name? Bug catcher. Bug catcher Brett. Or Brent. There we go, Brent is his name. Okay, so we're gonna use Peck on this, obviously. Get it super effective. One more Peck should faint this Beedrill. Use Focus on to raise its chance of a critical hit coming up. But too bad, it might be fainted by the time. Yeah, it gets. It doesn't even get its next turn because Fumi fainted Beedrill. Okay. So yeah, Fumi is level 22 now. Guess the Fumi yet didn't wear an um. Aerial is yet, but that's okay. Maybe at level 23 it'll win Aerial is solving up. Just gotta wait and see. This gives fear attack on us. Hit twice, hit twice, hit twice, hit twice. Nope, it's gonna hit three times. Of course. Hit three times. That's not so bad though. Let's use another pack. This Beedrill should go down. There we go. Awesome. It's like two Beedrills, as I said before. And yeah, here's we defeated Bugcatcher Brent. What? What a total waste of time. Oh, you're saying our battle was a waste of time? Well, I guess for you because your two beetles fainted. But come on. But thanks for the 228 pocket dollars. And of course, I won't let Fear evolve yet. So I'm just gonna just mash the B button right now. I don't know if you can hear me tapping on my controller on the B button on my GameCube controller, but you know. It was stopped evolving. Too bad. Um, is there any? I think there's an item probably in, the, in that rock over there, and I just ran into a encounter. Okay, that's cool. Zerata. Okay. I'm gonna pursue this thing to death. Uh, Telephants, I mean. I'm still getting to that point where I say, well, sometimes I say death or kill other than, instead of knocked out or fainted. Because, you know, the Pokemon don't die, they faint. But then some Pokemon sadly die because, uh, you know, Lavender Town and the Pokemon Tower and Mount Pyre and places like that, you know. Sadly, Pokemon are way to rest. You know, at times. And it's very sad. We get the 130 experience points. This is actually ether. So yeah, and then if we hop down here, we're gonna have to go all the way back around. So I'm just gonna walk, and hopefully I don't wonder what Pokemon. Yes, I didn't. And we're gonna go back around, and I think it's over. What's well, down here actually? It's down here. Another hiker dude. Okay, I'm gonna switch my Pokemon around. Let's go to um. Let's switch to Blaster. This is the hiker dude, of course. Uh, ha ha ha! Bring it on. Okay, I'm not afraid to show you. I'm not afraid uh, to show you what I can do and what my moves are. Okay, show me your moves, as Captain Falcon would say. Let's use Water Pulse on this dude. It should one hit KO it because it's four times weak to it's four times four times weak to um Water type moves like Water Pulse. And then Buster be level 23. Nice. Buster's getting up there in levels. And then I think you have an Onyx, if I had to guess. Yeah, you have an Onyx, okay. He's a hiker, of course he has an Onyx. Most hikers do have Onyxes, so. A, a big handful, the, I think the majority of hike trainers have Onyxes, so. That's pretty cool. We defeated Bugcatcher, I mean, Bugcatcher, Hiker Allen. Wahaha, something too far. They made the second part of your last part of your dialogue, sorry. I think this, I, I mean, I'm gonna guess this is like a Super Potion or something. A Burn Heal, never mind, I was off, I was way off. Burn heal, cool. Could use one of those, I guess, if we get burned. But I could, I go through Pokemon playthroughs, 
but I don't really get burned that much, or my Pokemon don't get burned as the status condition move. Um, I'm gonna heal up, um, Fear Me. I'm gonna give it, like, a Super Potion, and we're gonna take on this Bug Catcher then. So let's go to Bag, Super Potion, we have 8 of them, well, 7 after this, of course, because 8 minus 1 is 7. Math, 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 math. Unnecessary math, but you know what are you gonna do? Go, uh, go my super bug Pokemon. Okay, go my super Fimi Pokemon. I'm just kidding. My super Fimi. So we're gonna go. F There's a Caterpie right here. Let's take this. Uh, this Caterpie is level 20. Shouldn't it be a B? Uh, no, I almost said Beedrill. Shouldn't it be a body free by now? I mean, come on. You can't just tell it to level 20 Caterpie. I mean, it's kind of silly. You, you I think he just pushed the, um, I think he pressed the A button like 14 times, 13 times, somewhere around there. Because you don't want your Caterpie to evolve. That's personal preference if you want your Pokemon to evolve, so I'll back off now. Sorry for, you know, just calling you out. I'm, I, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, here's a Weedle. Hopefully we can one-hit KO this with a pack, but I don't think so. Oh wait, we can. Nice. I shouldn't doubt myself. I gotta believe some more. But that weirdo is also level 20, so it evolved. If you press the A button like, or B button like, for 13 or 14 times when it's trying to evolve, but if you make it level 23, and it still didn't learn anyway, it's leveling up, okay. That's okay though. Pack attack. Let's take it down this button net. One more pack should take down this button, I should say. There's confusion on us. Okay, that did about maybe a, maybe a sixth of our HP, or of our max HP. Fimu's max HP. So that's cool. That's cool. My defeat bug catcher Connor. My bugs. I'm sorry, but thanks for the 240 pocket dollars. I'm gonna mash the B button again. I'm gonna go let Spirit evolve. They fail just yet. It still hasn't learned area solving up. So hopefully at level 24 to learn area solving up. So yeah. And so maybe. Okay, here's a trainer. It's a camper dude. I'm taking the rock tunnel to go to lavender. That's what I plan on doing too. Cool. We have the same mindset and plan. Where we're we gonna go next? Camper Drew, since I rat. Okay. So, how many pecs do I have? Do I have 19? Okay, I'm gonna just spam peck for these Pokemon. Uh, you know, I mean, just, I might as well just spam peck. I get the same type. You may get the same type of attack bonus, so that's cool. There we go. Use peck. Nice, 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 nice. And it's a sand shrew, okay. I'm gonna try a pursuit, see much. I don't think it'll do that much though, to be honest. Let's see. It didn't do too much. Okay, I'm gonna switch out actually, because this might take a while. I'll switch out actually. I don't want I don't wanna deal with the sand shrew really in a hard way. I'll make it easier on myself. Let's go to Chelsea, I guess. Switching out. And defense curl. Ooh, okay. Okay, raise your defense stat one stage. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Fang. Chelsea hit with Hyper Fang. And, okay, it flinched. Okay, cool. I used another Hyper Fang. Because Hyper Fang is really powerful. Get a Sand Attack on us. Okay. Go for the Quick Attack. There we go. And we got two more Pokemon to deal with in this battle. Another Sand Shrew, okay. I'm gonna go for the Focus Energy so I can get a chance on raising my Critical Hit Ratio. Or get a ch raise my chance of getting a Critical Hit in the upcoming turns. So, yeah, it's gonna work. I could see another st stage though. I could see stat. Oh man. Everything's got a hit though. Now it's lowered three stages. Okay, that's cool, Sand Shrew. There goes the Hyper Fang. Hopefully this next type of thing will be a critical hit. And uh, okay, miss. Never mind. I hope, I'm hoping for a critical hit here. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Come on. Hyper Wings got a hit. There we go. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical. Ah, uh, dang it. Look at this poison sting now. Great. And a poison Chelsea, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Why? Why? I, I, that's a big problem for me because I don't like my Pokemon getting poisoned. And it's quick attack missed. Okay, that's like four stages you lowered Chelsea's accuracy. If I can just land one more hit, and even a quick attack, it'd probably faint this Sanchu right here. But no, Sanchu has to be a jerk. 
and cause me trouble. And we're Pokemon trouble. There we go, quick attack hit. There goes the sand tree. We got one more Pokemon after this. Just a good level 23. Let's go to the last Pokemon. Ekans, okay. okay. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Fang. But then again, the Intimidate did uh, cut Chelsea's attack by 25%. So that kind of stinks. Might as well switch out, actually. Just so Chelsea doesn't faint. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. Switch out to, um, let's go switch out to Thunder, I guess. And choose Thunder Shock on this thing. Two Thunder Shocks, maybe three Thunder Shocks should faint this. Yeah, three. Cause it looks, it's looking like three Thunder Shocks will faint this. Three Thunder Shocks total will faint the seconds. So let's just use another. Undershock. That'd be cool if you could go critical crit hit though. Of course, when I say that, Ekans gets a critical hit on us. That's nice. That's nice. That's cool, I guess. That's cool. You could have camped for true. I didn't care about your dog. Thanks for the hundred Look at ours. And there's nothing up there except for, like, okay, I got heal poison actually. And to do, I have to heal two, two poisons. Okay. Use a potion on female, and we use a potion on Chelsea. There we go. And there we go, nice. Okay. Continue on now. <laughs> 